it's James and I'm back in the shop again after a long absence. And I think my last video that I posted was back in June. Um, it's now December, a few days before Christmas, and I thought I'd update you as to why I've had this absence. Um, we have, since the middle of October, we moved out of the mountains. And uh, we're now in a different part of Colorado Springs, a couple of thousand feet less in altitude, and we found a wonderful house on five acres that just happened to have a shop attached, heated. It's about 38 feet by 32 feet, and I'm going to give a tour of it today, and uh, um, it'll be a handheld tour, so I, I hope it'll all work out. But uh, I'm going to be looking for suggestions as to how to organize the place. So let me uh, grab the camera um, and start the tour. Okay, well this is the house. Um, some of you might remember Riggs from a previous video. He's running around. He thinks the whole place is his. Um, we inherited a very nice shed, and that's where I keep the uh, tractor, the lawnmower, which I will be doing a video on um, to review a John Deere X350 tractor. But this is the five acres. Uh, it's snowy here, uh, but it's a nice day. It's about 49 degrees. So back here, oh, about 200 feet from the house, is the shop. And attached to the shop is a very nice, well, it's, it's not exactly a lean-to, but um, it's dry storage for wood. So it's a wood shed. So why don't we uh, uh, go in the shop and take a tour? All right, let's go in now. I've only had a couple of weeks to set up. Um, we'll see if the dog wants to join me or stay outside. You want to stay outside? Okay. So I've barely managed to just move all my equipment in. Um, it's very spacious. I, I'm starting to wonder how I ever was able to cope with half of a two-car garage because it seems like this is taking up a whole lot of room in here. So because Christmas was coming, I did have to set up a few things because we had to make some Christmas gifts. Actually, uh, these are the Christmas gifts here. It's a, a kind of a calendar board. We have a calendar that mounts here, a dry erase board, some place to thumbtack, and a little place to put uh, uh, dry erasers or dry mark dry erase markers but um, I had to rewire uh, the previous owner kind of didn't tell the truth about where all the 220s were or if they worked so they didn't work so we had to add a 220 for the bandsaw here another 220 back there for the dust collection and we reran um, 220 to where he previously had his bandsaw. Now the previous owner used to make custom cabinets for kitchens. Um, I will uh, intersperse a few still photos um, from when he was here. The place was a disaster. There was an inch of dust on everything. I don't know how he coped with it. The first weeks was just doing a major cleanup so I could breathe in here. So um, the, this bench was already here. Um, the big bench here was here. Now I had to uh, get my table saw level with the bench that was already here. And my, my table saw used to be on rollers. Um, so what I did was I, I built these risers and inside underneath these two two by fours I epoxied in a big square nut and then ran these carriage bolts through it put these jam nuts um, up at the top so that I could raise and lower um, the wood 
and incrementally I was able to raise up the table saw to get it perfectly level with the with the existing bench so I was able to start and do my projects at least using the table saw and I do have uh, the dust collection run around the bench over to the dust collector over there so there's a miter station here it does not fit my miter saw um, but I did uh, put some temporary blocks in underneath just to get it level with the rest of the bench I have to put in my uh, stereo um, uh, this may end up being the grinding station I don't know the lights not very good here I'll probably have to hang another light now this is a garage door that goes out into the woodshed the storage um, it's insulated so it keeps it pretty tight uh, the whole place is heated with these infrared heaters of which there's an abundance um, so right now I keep it at about 60 degrees and uh, that's working out really well um, my first addition was adding these yellow bins to store all my parts that was the nemesis of my old shop I had everything in coffee cans laying all over I could never see where anything was so I still have more hand tools to bring over from the other shop I'm gonna set up this area as storage um, I would like to this is the router table I've been using oh for years um, I would like to put a router table extension on the table saw um, in lieu of that uh, particle board wing on the end of it so I think I'm going to be making a uh, router extension with its own set of fences that mount on my fence and I will do a video for that there's a lot of videos out there for stuff like that um, the hutch came from my old shop we were able to bring it here and, and screw it to the bench um, again not organized just barely unpacked um, this bench was here as, as well uh, it had no shelves in it so one of the first things I did was just throw some shelves into it and have yet to figure out what I want to put where so that'll all happen soon my drill press fits on this pedestal between the two benches I think that's going to be nice right there I have bought all the equipment or all the parts needed to build a, a drill press table that has the cranks from from like a woodsmith so that I can raise and lower the table from the front um, so I will be doing a project with that I don't know where I'm going to store all my clamps yet um, these rolling carts came from the other shop I uh, they, they clip together uh, with clips to make one big flat surface I don't know where I'm going to store them yet um, I in the interim since my last video I found this nice radial arm saw for very very cheap so I'd like to build that into an island in the middle of this plywood floor section of the shop um, and build storage drawers underneath it so I'll have like a radial arm saw station here and then on the other side of it put a set of benches in uh, where I can I can have my lathe and other kinds of tools um, one of the bonuses of this shop is originally it was intended to have a bathroom uh, but right now there's no water or sewer coming to the shop so I'm just using that for storage right now but one of the really nice additions is because he had custom cabinets or he made custom cabinets I have this uh, dedicated spray booth um, with an exhaust uh, let me show you that uh, open this up and there's a, a fan that I can run while I'm spraying so I'll keep the compressor and all the spray equipment in here um, I used it already to finish my Christmas projects it's nice just having a dirty well not dirty but a a place that I don't care about overspray and this room is at least uh, 12 by 10 so if I wanted to finish a king-size bed frame I could do it so um, that's pretty much the 10 cent tour 
Um, like I said, uh, you guys who've organized your shops already, I would uh, appreciate any suggestions. Um, I can't wait to get this set up and, and actually start uh, doing some serious work out here. Um, again, my joiner, I don't even know if I'm going to keep it or where it's going to be parked. But somehow I will organize this. I'll get clamp storage in, I'll get part storage in, and I will be doing videos along the way. So hope you enjoyed my little few minute tour and I hope you come back and find out uh, what the progress is going to be along the way. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Merry Christmas.